Hi everyone, welcome back today. We're doing a few favorites. I haven't done this in a while and I haven't vlogged it all this week. Probably should have, but <laughs> just been spending our last few days with family and friends and new babies. Pfft, crazy. And hanging out with this little guy. He had a stomach ache the other day. He's on the mend today, but he's our special guest for now until mom returns home from the grocery store, in which case he's gonna scare the crap out of me and bark running downstairs to see her. <laughs> Moving into a few favorites. As usual, I've kept it down to five. Oh, I always try to keep it down to five items just so I don't blab on forever, which I'm already doing. And then I do have one fail. If you've been watching along on Instagram, then you probably already know what it is. I've mentioned it a few times, I guess, um, but it's quite terrible. So to save you your money, I'll share that with you. <laughs> so first up is this little thing you can see hanging in the corner here, didn't notice that was there, are my little fill-in clip-in extensions. So I mentioned before that I am coveting the Barefoot Blonde fill-in clip-in extensions. You just put them on the side of your hair here. It's just a little extra volume. It's not necessarily for length. Actually, they're not for length at all. They're just to fill in the gaps, hence the name fill-ins, and just make your hair look a little bit more full. So I have extremely thin, fine, like baby soft hair. Um, so this is something that really caught my eye. They aren't super cheap. I mean, they're not quite incredibly expensive either, but because I knew I had some extensions from years ago, still sitting at here, sitting here in my bathroom in Vancouver, I thought I would just give them a go, see if those work. Once these ones die out, then I will invest in the barefoot blonde ones. But these ones actually were sent to me years ago by another company. I'll link these ones down below as well. They gave me the whole set. It's so much hair. Like I literally don't have enough head to put all these clip-ins in. Uh, maybe I have a really small head, I don't know. But I was also just very self-conscious of all the clips hanging out because I don't have that much hair. Um, it just, I didn't like wearing all of them. But once Amber brought this idea to my attention to just use a few of them, I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but I didn't, stupid. I gave it a go with the ones I already had and it's worked out pretty well. They're not a perfect match, but um, I think they'll work for now for what I wanna do. I especially love using them with braids and updos, ponytails, um, but today I just have them blended in with my um, kind of messy bedhead waves today. Um, and I just have one simple clip on each side. It's not actually that much hair. This is exactly what I have clipped into my hair right now. I have two sets of the um, double clip wefts. It's, a, it's actually not that much hair. Like, well, I guess it is when you pull it like, my hair is probably that big when you put it into a ponytail. They were far too long for what I wanted though, so I ended up clipping clipping them in and doing a little DIY trim. You would have seen that in one of my vlogs. So now they're just perfect. They hit where I want them to hit. They're a little bit darker, which is actually um, what I wanted to go for when I came home for my next hair appointment, something a little bit darker. So they kind of work out well. I'm gonna do a toning session on them because they're a little bit warm, but I think once I stick some purple shampoo in there, they'll be perfect. Yeah, and they just give me the fullness and thickness that I love. Like when I pull it all back, I just feel like I have a whole new head of hair. Still not super thick. <laughs> I would love to have a big head full of luscious locks, but um, I was not blessed. I mean, I like my hair. I just wish I had more of it, is what I'm trying to say. So I've been having a lot of fun with these. Definitely gonna be looking into the barefoot blonde ones if I change my hair color. These don't work out anymore, I screw them up, whatever. Been loving those, been super fun. Really happy with how it's all turned out. And then going along with more hair stuff, you guys know that I've been struggling with my hair in Amsterdam. My hair really does not like the uh, hard water in Amsterdam. I've tried the shower filters, vinegar shampoo, rinses, and I that's basically what I'm doing now. It's cheap, it's effective, it's not great for my hair. I mean, there's pros and cons to vinegar rinses. Basically what I'm having to do is douse myself in vinegar every few washes. But as soon as I got home, this is the one I reached for, the um, KMS Head Remedy Deep Cleanse Shampoo. So my first wash home, I think it was, uh, I slathered myself in this stuff to get all like the gunk out of my hair, just that heaviness. And um, it worked like a charm. I love the way this stuff smells. It's easy, widely available, you can get it on Amazon. So I'll definitely be picking up another one of these when I get to Amsterdam and I'm gonna alternate between using this and my vinegar. Um, these are harder on your hair than regular shampoos. So I wouldn't recommend using this all the time, but if you have a lot of product buildup, 
or just like muck in your hair, your hair is really, really, really dirty, um, or you live in a place with hard water, this might be worth looking into. It's not the cheapest stuff in the world, but it does work. Oh. I think somebody's home. <laughs> he just let himself out. I have a little bit left here, but I'm going to leave this one at home for when I return back here um, from Amsterdam in the summer. And then I'll have one in Amsterdam as well. We have like the most beautiful day here in Van Vancouver today. It's been really, really cold. And the most snow that we've had, I think since they, they said like 1996. So we have quite a, lot, quite a lot of snow right now. It just keeps coming in little flurries today. But right now it's like picture perfect blue skies everything's covered in white it's so beautiful but it's making it really bright in here so i feel like the camera is constantly trying to adjust and my eyes are trying to shut on me trying to uh you know shade some of the sunlight from my brain so if i look like i'm falling asleep i'm not i'm just being slightly blinded by the snow right now <laughs> moving on to makeup stuff and then i have a couple clothing items i mentioned this in one of my vlogmas videos but in case you didn't watch those you missed it it was a long video maybe you didn't quite make it that long i don't blame you you might not have seen this so this is the blush i've been using most recently um i was really stuck on my maybe maybelline contour palette for a while i still really love that I actually can't wait to use it again when we get back to amsterdam because i left it there i'll link that one down below if you're curious about that it's a great affordable option and then I switched to the Milani blush which I'm still that's at home still love it but I wanted to make a switch this one I got for Christmas last year from my best friend Bubs or Elena is her actual real name um, but we call her Bubs she got me this in a little Christmas pack and at first I didn't I wasn't totally crazy about it just because it I couldn't get it to blend right it I don't know I'm not that patient with my makeup I kind of like slap slap and dash it on slap and dash slap it on and dash <laughs> and I just couldn't get it to blend well enough I just felt like it looked a little bit splotchy and overdone by the time I got it where I wanted it but once I started using it with a brush this is actually a contour brush but I use it with my blush it works just fine I actually really love it now it gives a really natural you can build it up too but it has like a luminosity to it because it's a I think they call it actually a bomb yeah so it has so it has like um it looks kind of moist that's not a good word but um it just gives yourself your skin like a, a moist plump looking uh color to it it's not shiny it doesn't have a shimmer it just kind of gives you a soft glow with some color you can really build it up if you want a lot of blush or you can just blend it out with your fingers if you want to um take it down a notch but it works really well if you just dab your blush brush into it or a brush of some kind and then just use it that way buff it out um, I tend to go a little overboard and then I kind of blend it all out afterwards. I just feel like that technique works better on my skin for whatever reason, rather than just going light on it. I don't know. I prefer to go too far and then I blend it out and it just looks more skin-like. So it takes an extra minute, which isn't my favorite thing, but it works. <laughs> okay, moving on to clothing items. These have been my favorite thing to wear as of late. I just... I don't know they just make every outfit look super cool i just i feel cool in them that's why i love them so my cowboy boots i've shared that i got these at not a thrift store it's a secondhand store like a pre-picked vintage shop in amsterdam i think it's called vintage jungle it's in the jordan area really cute little shop the girls in there are adorable they have lots of cool stuff reasonably priced for a pre-picked uh, vintage shop so I grabbed these for 30 euros and I love them they look a lot like the golden goose boots that are considerably more expensive than these I love those ones actually more than I love these ones they're a little bit higher so um, on me at least they would be a little more flattering than these ones are but these were way cheaper already broken in they already have that cool look to them so yeah these will carry me over for now um, they've been a lot of fun to style I wore them once with just plain all, plain all black outfit and my black coat over top. Um, but I especially love it with like a dress style. I wore them recently with my um, oversized H&M beige kind of robe style sweater. I just wore it as a dress because it's quite long with these boots. And that was the whole outfit. I think I had a hat on as well, but felt super cool. Really love that look. Yeah, can't stop wearing these. This is one of those things I probably shouldn't have packed to bring here, so I had more suitcase room for stuff that I want to bring back to Amsterdam from Vancouver, but I just couldn't bear to be without them. So, packed those. They're going to be going back in my suitcase in a couple days. 
coming back home with me to Amsterdam. And then the other thing I couldn't wait to get home to was my shearling coats. I actually have two of them. I'm gonna have to decide which one to bring with me because I can't take them both. They're both super bulky. This one's actually a fair bit more bulky than the other one is. This is like a real shearling coat. Lots of people wear these in Amsterdam. They're sold in a ton of those like pre-picked shops. There's tons of them there. This one I got like forever ago at a real thrift shop here in Vancouver. Um, I think I paid probably 10 bucks for it, not much, because that's when uh, thrifting and vintage shopping wasn't as common as it is now. But I've kept it all these years. It lives in my mom's closet most of the time. I haven't taken it on any of my moves because it literally weighs like a few pounds, a good few pounds. This thing's heavy, bulky, um, doesn't really compact that well. It's going to take up a sixth of my huge away suitcase if I take this with me. I'm tempted if it fits I'm gonna take it with me but I think it's just it's just too big and bulky I don't know if it's gonna come with me this thing is incredibly warm <laughs> I don't know if it's actually gonna get cold enough for me to need this in Amsterdam I need it here today for sure it's just really simple love the little slit pockets it's long so it hits me like mid thigh which I always find is more flattering on my body the color of it is awesome there's no big logos on it, it says size 14 in there and then on the inside here just has that little label there and it has that vintage smell to it which i <laughs> kind of like um yeah that's the first one i'm hoping she'll be with me but likely not and then the second one that i have this is the weirdest hanger to have this on this is actually a wedding hanger a hanger that i used for hanging up our ropes at my wedding <laughs> okay oh oh god this one is my lighter shearling coat. You know, you can ha never have too many shearling coats. This one's not real shearling, it's fake, but it looks like a real shearling. It's compact. It's not nearly as warm as the other one, but it gives you that shearling coat look, but it travels much easier. I love that it has like this open sweater look to it. Again, it's pretty simple, simple little pockets in the front, simple one button in the center here, nice big, exposed shearling, faux shearling collar. Um, and I love the way it looks open and closed. So and it's just big enough that I can get a heavy sweater underneath it as well. I wear this down at our family cabin quite a bit. It's kind of my uh, kick the shit shearling coat. I don't really mind if I get campfire sparks on it and whatnot. So yeah, I think this is the one that's gonna come with me to Amsterdam. It doesn't get as cold in Amsterdam as it does here, especially right now. We're down to like minus nine during the day. I think this one's more practical for packing. And then just one quick mention, again, if you missed the vlogs, I mentioned these boots briefly, another favorite item. Um, didn't really get much wear out of them until this past visit. When we were down at the cabin, I took them snowshoeing and everything. These have been great. A really simple ankle height boot from Everlane. Really great price point, I think, for what they are. They come in a ton of other colors. I got them in my true size. Double check. Yes, a six, and they fit just fine. Again, I love them, but they're not going to be coming with me to Amsterdam. I just don't think I'll have much reason to wear them. I particularly think of them as like a summer gumboot, though, to me. I know that sounds stupid, but in my head, these go with cut off oversized Levi's denim shorts, like my typical down at the cabin kind of outfit, wearing like my shearling coat, a flannel, um, my cut off denim shorts, and these guys, or Ugg boots on my feet. So these were great for our last cabin visit. If you're on the hunt, give these a look. Can't say enough good things about these. These are super, super heavy. Nothing's getting through these, and they've got great tread on the bottom. If you're a hiker, can't go wrong but not much of that happening in Amsterdam. So I think they're gonna stay behind for now, but don't quote me on that. Okay, and then for my fail, I've been talking about this on Instagram stories. <sighs> in the States where our cabin is, there are probably five different brands. In This is in like the small quarter store. They have five different brands of seltzer drinks that aren't vodka. For whatever reason, I can't drink vodka. My stomach just doesn't like it sensitivity to it. So I was looking for something that is that brewed spirit or gin based. This is all I could find here in Canada, even though there's five different kinds in the States and they're all good. Like I, I stock up when I'm down there and I've tried all the flavors, love them all. The Truly one, the Seltzer one, um, 
what was the one I was drinking? There's another one that I was drinking this past to visit. I'll have to look back on my Instagram stories to see what that was. Loved all the flavors, even Ken liked them. They're 100 calories, low sugar, no crap in them, but a brewed alcohol at 5%. Couldn't find anything similar, but I ended up coming across these guys. This is all I could find. It comes in three different flavors. My first wrongdoing was picking this up at all. My second wrongdoing was probably getting the mixed berry flavor. It tastes like carbonated medication that I used to get for my bronchitis when I was a kid in the 90s. Like it tastes horrid. That's literally how it tastes. It tastes like bad old style medication that's carbonated. Really bad. But a lot of you guys have agreed with me sending me messages like I did, I made the same mistake. I've got a whole case of it and the only way I can get it down is by mixing it with something. So I refuse to waste it. I don't like wasting money. I bought six of these. I will be consuming six of these, choking it back basically to not waste it because I know my mom's not going to drink it and Ken hates them. I think this is the last one. This is the last surviving one. I'm going to have to mix it with something to make it gone. I mean, it's still 100 calories, zero grams of everything else. It's gin based, but uh, they got to work on the flavor. It's horrendous. <laughs> That is it for the tangible items. The other thing that has been on my mind recently that makes me happy, um, all this royal talk. Have you guys been following this? Crazy, first of all. But second part of crazy, they're going to be our neighbors. What? I mean, I don't think any of that's confirmed yet, but they did spend the holidays over six weeks in Vancouver Island, we're here on the mainland, but Vancouver Island is not far from where we live. We're pretty easy, easy to get over there. So she might just call me up one day and ask me over for tea. Although she's not English, she might ask me for a coffee. I could be at her front door in like an hour and a half. <laughs> There's two ways to get there. We can either take the ferry over, which isn't my favorite because I get horribly motion sick, or you can actually take a float plane over there, which Ken and I have done that before. Um, we had to go over there for a wedding and I wasn't feeling the whole fairy after a wedding thing. So we decided to splurge and make it a bit of an adventure. Took the um, float plane over, which it's actually not as expensive as you might think. It was super cool. We were vlogging that day too, so I'll make sure that vlog's linked down below. That's a fun one to look back on. But that's how she got from the island over to the mainland. I think it's two days ago now. Um, but recently she was over in Vancouver working with one of the women's shelters, I believe. So she was spotted in one of the float planes. I think that's what I saw. Um, so we're basically neighbors with Meghan Markle right now. Prince Harry is probably on the way. I've heard they've already moved their dogs over. Of all the places in the world they could choose to live, they choose my very own backyard. Very cool. Um, but obviously that's sparking all sorts of other questions. When this all came about, everyone in Vancouver was like, oh my God, it's so cool. And then the news is saying, but who pays for their security and all the extra things that come along with having royals in your city? And then everyone was like, hold up, <laughs> who's paying for all that? So there's still lots to be figured out, um, but it sounds like they're kind of, you know, on their way. I'm happy to have them here. I don't know what all the logistics and all that will turn out to look like, but um, I think it would be pretty cool to have them over there. You won't hear any complaints from me, that's for sure. I leave the country, Meghan Markle moves to my very own city. <laughs> uh, I think that's all I've got for you today. Quick and easy little favorites and fails. I hope you enjoyed it. Ken and I are gonna be heading back to Amsterdam in the next few days. Can't believe we've been here like a month already. It just flew by. Yeah, it's time to pack up again, head back to Amsterdam, get back settled into our regular life. I'll be back on my regular camera um, once we get back home. But I have to say, the iPhone 11 is another bonus favorite. This thing has been awesome. I mean, I did upgrade from the iPhone 6, 6S. It was really old, hardly worked, to the 11. And uh, so it's quite the jump. I haven't had any issues with it, zero glitches. The cameras are awesome. So if you're looking for an upgrade, I would say yes, but I'm not, again, the most tech savvy person in the world. From someone that does blogging and this YouTube stuff, um, it'd be great if you are just starting out. It takes great photos, great videos. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I tried to keep this quick and it still is not quick. So that is it for today. Make sure you give the video a like if you did like it. Um, leave me a comment. What do you think about the Royals coming to Vancouver? I know. 
I know, it's crazy. Especially if you live in Vancouver, I'd be very curious to know how you feel about all this. Make sure to follow along on Instagram. There's always something happening over there. Right now it's a lot of Chico content because I cannot help myself. So cute. Oh, speaking of, speaking of, hi. Hi there, did you hear your name? Man of the hour, star of the show. Yes, you can follow us over there and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos because YouTube kind of likes to pick and choose which videos are seen and which are not. So there you have it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, say hello to your fans. They love you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Poor patient was not feeling well the last few days. But I think we're back to our usual crazy self, are we? Yeah. Chico, can you sit? Can you shake a paw? <gasps> Good boy. He says, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. See you in the next one. <laughs> Maybe not, actually, because I'll be back in Amsterdam. Missing someone. Missing someone.